Adapt. <laughs> oh my god, I love when Logan is like this. I'm just shoving them down, and if they're wrong, they're wrong. <laughs> Why don't I shove something down, Jerry? She like, ain't you Ken Carson? Ain't you Teen X? <laughs> Indiana James, anyone? Dude, Logan? Ethan? What's Logan up to? Hey, it's Logan. Dude, there's no excuses. I don't even want to hear it. Yeah. The event was you had to fucking... Oh, oh my god. god! Check out my mewing. <laughs> oh my god! I'm Brayden. I'm Ethan. I'm Jared. I'm Logan. And we are the good fella. So we're starting this episode with a new segment called Overrated, Underrated, or Properly Rated, where I name a movie along with its letterboxed rating. We put up signs, overrated, properly rated, underrated, and then we talk about it. <laughs> Parasite with a 4.6 average rating. Three, two, one. What the hell is that, Logan? What does that mean? It's a proper gentleman. Oh, I like that. I don't think it's like, this is like- Bro gave it a nine and it's a 9.1 or whatever on Letterboxd and you think it's overrated. <laughs> yeah, I, I do think it's overrated. That's Because stupid. it's got a 4.6 because no one else watches foreign movies. How? I think it's a great movie, but it's overrated. You gave it the same rating! It's still a near 10 out of 10. I'm happy the public has seen. Yeah. Okay, properly rated then. You're dumb. Second movie is Interstellar with a 4.3. Three, two, one. In terms of this movie, it's like, because it's just slightly overrated. I, I didn't think Logan was going to agree with me here. Christopher Nolan's movies make no impression of, on me a week after I've seen them. My list now, I look at it, and I feel nothing about any of these movies other than like, I like The Dark Knight, Heath Ledger. <laughs> But that's just you, a me thing. Everything you're saying is not saying that you think it's properly rated. Because this art is subjective, man. I really, really liked it when I first watched it. But I don't care about any of his movies. So, I, I don't know. I think it's f fair. Fine. There's a minority of people who crazy dick ride. Yeah. <laughs> Do you hate it a little more than you should because Brayden loves it so much? Um, yeah. Oh my god, you're such a prick. <laughs> <laughs> Visually, very deservingly gets the praise it deserves. And I think it's very properly rated in that regard. Just a tad bit overrated. I saw it ages ago, and I gave it a 7. I don't have any ill feeling towards it now. There's no passion towards it. I don't remember a thing. So I'm just going to go off past me thoughts, and I'm going to say it's overrated. I'm going to say it's a 7, and, and everyone else is dumb. That's crazy that you gave it a 7. That movie, think, that ending, weird. I'm one of those guys that think this is like one of the best movies ever made. I can I absolutely see that. Te on a technical level, there is a huge argument for that. I just think it kind of flops at the, at the end. The more I watch this movie, the more I think... Think that it's the only ending that this movie could have had i think anything else would have been a letdown because of how big the scale of this movie actually is i think the ending yeah. works perfectly with it oh my god you come guzzler <laughs> all right back to the future part three with a 3.5 three, three two huh? one oh. logan I haven't seen it. So for, for me with the ratings, right? I think it goes 3-1-2. The third movie is right on par with the first one and vice versa. I don't know if I actually agree with this, but when I saw them, I, I believed it. I think it gets they get better as they go along. I think it goes 3-2-1. 3-2-1? Yeah. What? I think the second one is very obviously the weakest of the bunch. But it's still, it's still fantastic. But it's still so good. I think for a 3.5... It's definitely underrated, but I think if it was just a straight four, I'd be that'd be proper. I think it is an eight. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> he's all he's long gone. Yeah, Jared, he's... this is what this is a Wi-Fi problem, sweetheart. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Star Wars prequels. The first one at a two point eight. The second one with a two point eight. And the third one with a three point eight. I think I've only seen the third one when I was like maybe six. Three, two, one. Give me some ones that can have other opinions on. I think everyone who hates these movies is stupid. I really do. I see zero problem in Attack of the Clones or Phantom Menace. I okay, think okay, no, 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 no. I agree with you that these are underrated movies. I, I think a 3.8 for Revenge of the Sith is properly rated. The hate that the yeah. first two get at 2.8 each, I understand that they are not the best movies. They have problems for sure. But I think a 2.8 is way too low for these movies. Yeah, 3.8 is exactly what 
Revenge of the Sith should be. I think 2.8. You could potentially go lower on Attack of the Clones, honest to God. Uh. I could go between a 2.5 to a 2.8. I think I could stay right there. And then Phantom Menace, I mean, it's better than the second movie. The whole trilogy is exclusively carried by concepts that he wants to tell but he's such a bad writer that it's not good up until the last movie where there's some decent stuff in there and it, it's like just a pretty good movie pretty great you're Bro, silly i think the prequels are better hey george lucas is a great writer i'll die no, on he's that not. he's not a great writer. yes he is the original trilogy is saved by the fact that george lucas is friends with spielberg and coppola and and, and the, the editor Everyone around him took his incredible ideas that made them work. And he doesn't have as much experience with, with directing and other stuff. What he needed was people to help him with stuff. <laughs> you know what? That's kind of a justified response right there. Space Jam with a 3.2. I also haven't seen Space Jam. Let's move on. Let's just move on. Let me talk about Space Jam. Anyways, for the next movie, we got... um. Midsummer with a 3.8. I also haven't seen Midsummer. Oh my god. The next movie is Elvis with a 3.3. I haven't seen Elvis. Damn, me neither. Three, two, one. I'm not gonna put it. I'm not gonna put a. Uh... But you didn't rate this movie at a 3.3. Yeah, I gave it a four. I think I like it for some of the right reasons, probably some of the wrong reasons. I just saw it as a concert movie and nothing else. If you see it as a concert movie, it's pretty good. Priscilla is an infinitely better Elvis movie, despite being about Priscilla. Elvis Elvis sucks. I was was boxing with my eyelids. I think putting it anywhere near a 3 or a 6 out of 10 is insulting. No one's eating on this episode of the podcast. And look what I found. Um... I don't like Elvis that much. It's not it's not my favorite movie. It's way too long. All right, now we're doing a uh, wavelength. Three of us agree on a number. The other person has to guess what the number is by asking questions about movies. Yeah. I'll go. Yeah, okay, let's start with Ethan. Ethan, turn around. Okay. Okay, Ethan, turn around. Braden, you you vape. You're a puffer. Give me a movie where a cool character smokes a cigarette. Okay, um, I'm gonna give you Lady Bird. What cool character smokes a cigarette in Lady Bird? Timothy Chalamet and Lady Bird. Timothy Chalamet is cool AF in that movie. I'm gonna stick with a seven. It's just a good movie. Logan, give me a movie that starts with the letter Z. I got guns in my head and they won't go. Spirits in my head and they won't go. Oh what poster? Oh, is that Star Wars poster, Jared? I like how it's just like a solitary confinement room with one poster of Star Wars. In <laughs> I was conceived to this poster. Nice. What? I'll go with Zootopia. I'm sticking with That's the great. six seven range, Jared. Jar Bear. My sweetie pie. <laughs> Give me a movie where the main actress gives you a chub. Respect to all women. I just want to say this is not indicative of me, Logan, Brayden. Going on my own behalf. I only find my girlfriend attractive, so. Exact same with me. <laughs> Logan uh, might be gay. I'm going to go with I, Tanya. Six. That's a six out of ten. That's fine, answer. No, because Brayden did a... No, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> so I'm going to go with a seven. Dance with me. Get that spray paint. Yeah, what I'm off of. Link, get the gas off. I'll go. Me. I like Is that. Fine. I like that. Yeah? Logan! Brayden? Is jerking on the pod. <laughs> no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a Spielberg movie. I'm gonna go with the BFG. If my life was called the BFG, it'd stand for big fucking gonads. <laughs> Some four or something, I don't know. Somewhere in there. Ethan, give me a Christmas movie. I'm gonna choose Arthur Christmas. Four, four, six. Great. Chair Bear. Give me a movie jerk movie. I'm not a movie jerker. Never <laughs> have been a movie jerker. I don't want this title, but I'll give you one. <laughs> Red Notice? I'll, I'll... What's your final answer? Give it a five. Smell of spray paint, yeah, what I'm off of. Link, get the gas off. Okay, I'll go. No, bitch, I'm next. 
Ethan, give me a non-English movie. You ever one of these? Non-English. Oh, dear. Don't hit it. Don't hit it, please. Oh, he froze. Now, most famously, this was dubbed over in English on the DVD, but it was originally a Spanish film. Ratatoing! Ratatoing! I haven't seen it. You guys are so lame with me. I'm, I'm gonna go with a one. Logan, give me a movie with a guy with an awesome beard. Me, am I right? Right, guys, right? Damn. Right, Calvin? I see you coming. When are we expecting yeah. puberty, Jer Bear? Yeah, I missed it. Uh, I'll give you Joss Whedon's Justice League for Jason Momoa's oh. beer. A one, maybe? Jared, uh, give me a movie jerk movie. <laughs> Oh. oh man, oh man, oh man! Movie jerk movie. Is it a one? I love Spirit Gamer 234 so much. <laughs> I want to make sweet. No, it was a zero. That's just a, how does that count? Like, I didn't know what we could do zero. Sorry, I would have given a zero. Fuck, idiot. Do. Bro, got a diaper ass. <laughs> Is this okay? <laughs> Jerry, don't look, motherfucker. Alright, diaper ass. Ethan, I'd like a movie jerk movie. Um, I have a girlfriend. Well, Braden does two and Logan's gay, so I gotta turn out. <laughs> Braden, can I have a movie that starts with F? Fight Club? Ethan, it's Black History Month, man. Give me a black mo movie, man. A black movie? Yeah, well, you can interpret, interpret that however you want to. Yeah, can you give me a black excellence movie, please? I'm gonna do what you'd consider a black excellence film. The Django Unchained. Oh, holy mm. crap. Hey, well, now I'd give that a 10. I love that movie a lot. Logan, give me a Gal Gadot movie. None. <laughs> Rock in with the spirit of it. Locked in. I'm going to give you Death on the Nile. Locked in. Is it a 10? It was a 9. You know I love Django. Uh, we went two for four. Next up, we got the... So these are characters that have not been adapted from books, plays, other movies, Original other character draft. And you know your boy's up first. For my number one pick, I'm taking Travis Bickle. Nerd. I'm going to take Darth Vader. I'm going to take a sleeper sleeper hit here. Jesse from Before Sunrise. Dude, I was going to... Ah. Gonna... All right, Jared, you're first and second. I want to win. Beatrix kiddo. Eat my ass. And on top of that, I'm going to pick... Rocky. Rocky. That's a good one. <laughs> Fuck you, Logan. I'm gonna take Jules from Pulp Fiction. Can I take Captain Jack Sparrow? Yes, you can. Love you. You get my vote. For my number two, I'm gonna take Terrence Fletcher from Whiplash. Yep. Mm. For my third pick, I'm gonna take Theodore Twombly. Shit. I'll just take the other uh, giant franchise guy. I'll take um, Indy, Indiana Jones. Oh, yeah. You bitch, yep. you're picking mine. And going along with an iconic hero of sorts, an anti-hero. I am gonna take the man with no name. I'm gonna go with Ash from the Evil Dead. Let's Catering. Yeah. Then I'm gonna go with, I'll go with Yoda. Um, I'm gonna take Celine from the Before Trilogy. I'm gonna go for uh, the dude. Mmm. Go on. I'm gonna take Calvin Candy. This is, this last one's hard. Uh, for the sheer sake of him being awesome, I'm taking Ghost Dog. Fucking sick. Maybe I'll just do uh, Hans Landa. Mm. Go on. I was gonna take Charles Foster Kane. I think inspired by his fine, we said. Give me Mia Wallace. Mia Wallace. Okay, that was the end. Oh, I'll read them off again. I had Travis Bickle, Terrence Fletcher, Theodore Twombly, Calvin Candy, and Ghost Dog. Logan had Darth Vader, Captain Jack, Indiana James, the Dude, and Hans Landa. Okay. Ethan had Jesse from the Before Trilogy, Jules, The Man With No Name, Celine, and Charles Foster Kane. Jared had The Bride, Rocky, Ash, Yoda, and Mia Wallace. I just want to say um, two things. First, Indiana Jones' full name is actually Junior, just saying. And second, Can you, like, die in real life, please? Shout out King Schultz. I was teetering on him, but that's one yeah. of the best characters ever. Um... I'm gonna vote for Ethan. Ethan had a fantastic list. I'll go Ethan. Thank you so much. Uh, I think you guys are silly. Logan has the best list. His is just awesome. <laughs> I genuinely like Brayden's list a lot. 
thanks for thanks for watching. Until next time.